Yesterday, I talked to you about growth mindsets in business and organizations, and I spoke to you about what it looks, sounds, and feels like to work in one of these environments. Today, I want us to talk about why it's so important that we try and develop this culture as much as possible. It's going to benefit the organization, but it's also going to benefit individuals on their own. Let's start with those individuals, those employees. So first of all, it's going to be less of the Sunday blues and more motivational Monday. You're going to be wanting to get out of bed to go to work because you're going to feel happy. You're going to feel proud to work for that organization. It's going to make you a better learner. So when things come up that need changing to, maybe you don't know yet, new projects and initiatives, you're willing to take the time to find out, willing to put in the effort to research, maybe ask for help, find further support or go on training to develop the skills and widen yourself and your knowledge and grow as an individual too. You're going to be able to solve problems much more rationally and logically. So rather than letting your emotions take over, which is what normally happens in more of a fixed orientated business, we look at situations and problems with rational thinking, therefore overcoming those obstacles a lot easier. A lot of this is all around increased mental health, meaning that you're going to feel less anxious, less stressed. Don't get me wrong, those emotions will still fill your body from time to time. It happens to absolutely everyone. But like we said before, it's dealing with those emotions in a much more logical and rational way. And also you'll be able to go and speak to people about any issues that you have without any worries. You're going to have increased productivity. You're going to be full of energy for your company. So you're going to want to maybe go the extra mile for them. It's also going to be looking at choice and change so that when changes do come, you have a choice whether to embrace them or not. In terms of the organisation, obviously, this is about productivity for the organisation as a whole and actually the quality of that work as well. That's going to be improved. And also the turnover in staff will be less. People will be loyal to your company. They'll want to stay, they'll feel safe, but also they know that you value them as a person. You as a company will understand your employee needs, building empathy, listening to what they want, but also delivering what they want too. Company performance as a whole, if your staff are in a happy, safe working environment where they're encouraged to grow, encouraged to try new things, not ridiculed for making mistakes, it's more likely that this will affect the company on a wider scale. It's like a ripple effect, which will grow and grow and grow, therefore leading to company growth too. So lots of reasons to develop a growth mindset culture within your workplace. Is there anything in my list that you think, you know what, that's something that we're going to focus on? If there is, Drop it in the comments below.